Bryce Silva is in Bumalanga, the membership of uh, the party heavyweight and uh, Kokta MEC Mandlam Sidi remains suspended since January. Joining us now to clarify this situation and the state of um, Bumalanga ANC is a spokesperson Sasekani Manzini. Sasekani, good to have you and thank you very much for your time and uh, for coming on uh, this uh, uh, evening. Firstly, maybe let, let's give you an opportunity also just to, 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 to react to the news of the councillor that was gone down uh, in, in Bumalanga. Uh, good evening to you, Tabo, and the viewers at home. Indeed, uh, it is a sad day for us as a province, uh, the African National Congress, to wake up in the morning that uh, one of our youngest councillors uh, has been cut down and killed, and not only just killed him, but also in terms of the torture of the family, the children, the wife, something that we are condemning as an African National Congress. Not only because we are doing that because he's a councillor, but to say that we can't live in a society where every day the community are not feeling safe. The community, their cars, we know that they are always complaining about cars taken to Mozambique. And uh, this is what we call upon the law enforcement agency to make sure that our people are safe. And we are happy that a 72-hour plan has been put in place uh, to make sure that those that are responsible uh, the criminals that are harassing our community, our people, on a daily basis are arrested. So that a very clear message can be said that indeed we, the government can make them feel safe in their homes, especially because if you go home, that's where you must feel safe. But if these criminals can uh, follow you up until at home, it's something that we are condemning, but we believe that uh, uh, the law enforcement will, will make sure that these people are arrested. Yeah. This encounter, the police are saying, not likely at this point to be politically related. Largely, criminality would have been the reason here to, to have access to, to the Baki. Either way, it marks a point of dissatisfaction in, in communities as far as the capability uh, for the police to deal with criminality. As they in see in the province. How do you reflect on that? You remember that as an African National Congress, we, we don't sit back and watch and say government or the police alone. We are saying community have a role to play and we are leading by example as an African National Congress. Hence, we have seen leadership of the ANC saying, let's reclaim our streets because these criminals are staying within our communities. We must all play a role in terms of making sure that we are safe ourselves. We, we, we have seen that since the program has been launched in other areas, uh, the community are saying thank you very much because it is us also who must play a role because these criminals are our children, our husbands and our friends. We must work together with the law enforcement so that they can be arrested, so that we can say that there's no place for criminals in our community. So indeed, we, we are happy, as I said, that already there's a 72 hour plan that has been put in place and we believe that these criminals are going to be arrested and all other criminals that are there in our communities making our people not to be safe and lose their loved ones in the process. Let's talk then to this other issue. I mean, it, it, is the provincial treasurer in, in a tight corner at the moment as far as the May elections are concerned? Are people in the party wanting him out? No, they, they can't be people who want other members of the ANC out of the organization. There's no person uh, who owns the African National Congress. Hence, uh, the ANC has put a constitution to save itself uh, from the members, be it leadership from different levels, so that each and every, what is good about the ANC is that any person has got the right, uh, if uh, there are any accusations against him or her, to follow the constitution and be able to clarify yourself and be given an opportunity in terms of any allegations that are leveled against you. Unlike other political parties where you are not even given a plot platform, you just removed as and when people want. But the African National Congress does have a, a constitution that uh, each and every member, even if you are not a leader, uh, can be protected using that constitution. Yeah. So I, I, I don't believe that there's any person that is against the provincial treasurer, hence the process, internal process of the organization is followed by the provincial executive committee of Mpumala. So has the treasurer general been processed then by the ANC's disciplinary uh, committee? Yes, the constitution has been followed uh, as far as uh, the provincial working committee taking a decision as per the constitution. 
and the disciplinary committee also processing the matter. Hence, you'll understand that the issue of DC to show that uh, the ANC respect the rights of its members is not even processed by the PEC or officials or certain structure. It is given to uh, the disciplinary committee where you are even allowed to bring your own lawyer that will represent you so that you can, the process can be free and fair for any person. So where we are, we can say that we are towards closing the matter, finalizing it. Hence, we are still within the six months as per the constitution that once a member has been charged, that, 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 that process must be finalized within six months. So we are within that six months and we believe that uh, very soon the process will be finalized and all of us and everyone that is interested, even uh, our provincial treasurer, will be then given an opportunity to know the outcome of the disciplinary process. So why are some of the branch members who are said to be his supporters already preempting his expulsion? I, I can't, I can't uh, respond on that because all of us will be waiting for the report from the disciplinary processes. So, uh, you know, sometimes people will speculate, people will say things, but at the end, all of us, we need to be patient. Members uh, must be patient because themselves, if you are saying a member, you join the ANC, you understand the processes of the ANC. So there's no need to panic as far as even predicting the uh, outcome of the DC. We must all wait. The ANC does have a transparent uh, process that even allow uh, the person that is charged to go and represent yourself so that you can explain yourself and agree in terms of the process moving forward. So where we are, we, we, we are not uh, panicking as a PEC. We are saying we trust the disciplinary process of the ANC and all the processes that the PEC is following uh, together of, with the NDC that is there to make sure that all structures does follow the, the constitution of the ANC. So some media are reporting that uh, you would have uh, formally communicated that outcome uh, today or maybe even yesterday. Um, uh, when exactly is that outcome going to be communicated? As I've indicated earlier on, that this is a matter of the disciplinary committee. Once they finalize the matter, they will be then present the, the, the outcome of the DC to the, uh, um, the, the accused and also to the PEC following the processes that is outlined in the Constitution. How seriously does the PEC take a behavior that seems to contravene the party's Constitution? It, uh, any organization will take it uh, very not will not take it light for a member to contravene the constitution that you joined, uh, knowing exactly that there is a constitution and you have agreed that you have taken an oath that this, as a member of the ANC, you will abide by the rules of that organization. So, as an ANC, we want all our members to follow uh, the constitution and also remember the African National Congress. We are in the renewal process where all of us, we are expected to behave in a certain manner. We are expected to represent the organization in the manner that people respect and in the manner that people have a good trust in the organization because we are not just an organization that is not just an organization that is not leading government. We are also leading government. So our people, when they see the African National Congress, they see hope, they want us and they expect us to behave in a certain way. Hence, sometimes they even tell you that uh, the manner in which you behave, you are disappointing us as members. Because people, even those who are not members of the ANC, they believe that just by supporting the ANC, voting for the ANC, yeah. they are members of the ANC. So they expect us to behave in a certain way. Hence, the Constitution is there to make sure that if it happens that you don't follow uh, uh, the, 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 the processes or the rules of the organization, the Constitution will then kick in in terms of disciplinary process to make sure that we are a, a reminded of who you are as a member of the African National Congress. Yeah. The treasurer is, is accused of having organized against the president of the party. I mean, do you think that is a, 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 a contravention of the governing party's constitution to the extent that it warrants an expulsion? Uh, that will be the decision of uh, the disciplinary processes. If now I will come and say uh, this conduct uh, warrants this uh, a, a, a outcome in terms of uh, what the disciplinary process, disciplinary committee must then come into a conclusion, I will be wrong. So I can't say, but the constitution clearly indicates in terms of uh, certain contravention and uh, in terms of what the 
disciplinary process must follow and being guided by the Constitution of the African National Congress.